So it's December 2023, and you're just looking for the easiest and fastest way to fully jailbreak your device 100% free. So you can then access all of your favorite streaming content. Doesn't matter if you're interested in movies, TV shows, live TV, sports, pay-per-view, all of that content can be accessed just by following the process in this video. Now to start the process, just head over to search on the left. Let's click on that. And let's now type in the word downloader. So it's D-O-W. Here we are. Let's click on that. Click on that again and click on that one more time to begin the installation. And this application is a great application. It's a built-in browser. It allows you to download applications from other sources and install them. And let's click on got it. Now, before we open this application, we need to now enable that change. So if I now press the home key, let's now go to the right and where we have the settings cogwheel, let's click on that. I'm now going to click on MyFi TV. Let's click on that again. Now here you want to click on developer options. Now, if you have a brand new Fi Stick or Fi TV Cube and you don't see this developer options menu, what you want to do is click on about and here where you see your device type, either a Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube, just press the select button here seven times. So one, two, three, four, and you can see on mine, it says I'm already a developer. On your device, if it's the first time you've done this, when you get to the seventh click, you will get the message that you're now a developer, which means you can now press back and you will then see the developer options. So you can now click on this and where it says install unknown apps. Now, if you have a slightly older Fire Stick, you may just see an option here, which is set to off. You want to change the option to on, which again means that you can now install applications from third party or unknown sources. But as this is a newer device, I need to click on this first and we can now see my downloaded applications in here. I can now click on that. We can see that now it changes to on and this now means that I can now use Downloader to download and install any application that I like. And that's pretty much it in terms of unlocking or jailbreaking your device. So now that we've made that change, I can now press the home key and let's now open up Downloader for the first time. Let's click on that. I can now click on allow. Click on OK. Now where we have the, the box here where you can type something in, if I click in that, this is where you'd now type in an address like google.com or something else, but you can also type in codes, which are like short codes to get to certain pages. Now I've created a custom short code, which will allow you to get to the page on my website, which will have the direct link to this custom application store. And the code is 729611. And let's click on go. And this is a dynamic link, which means even if you're watching this video in the year 2024, this link will always update and point to the latest version of this guide. So you know when you access this guide, you'll always be getting the latest version of this custom application store. Okay, we can now scroll down. Here we have some step-by-step -step instructions. But what we're looking for just at the bottom is that direct link to this custom application store. Let's now click on that. We can give that a second, scroll down, and let's click on the green download button. And this will automatically download the latest version directly onto your device. Now, if you get any kind of error message that you're unable to connect to this URL or you're unable to download this custom application store, it could be that your ISP is blocking your connection. If that is the case, the easiest way to fix that is just to turn on your VPN. And I will be sharing the VPN that I'm using at the end of this video. But for now, we can click on install. Let's give that a second. That's now all done. Now, before we open the application, we have to press the home key because we have to give this new application store permission so we can download applications through it and then install them. So again, we have to go back into the settings, go back into MyFi TV, go back into developer options and where it says install unknown apps we can now see the custom application store is listed in here and we have to just turn this setting to on. So if I press the select button, that now says on. And again, that just means that we can download applications through this custom application store and then install them. Once you've confirmed that, we can now press the home key. We can now navigate to the left to go to our app library. 
and always the most recent application that you install will be at the bottom of the list. And here we can see the new custom application store. Let's open that up. Now, as you guys can probably appreciate, streaming laws are different depending on where you are in the world. So certain countries, certain applications may be suitable, whereas in other countries, those applications may not be allowed. So for that reason, I'm not going to go through the entire list here. But as you can see, you'll have access to the top applications, entertainment applications, the latest updates. All of those are included in this custom application store. For example, we go down into Essentials. Here, for example, we see ES File Explorer, a very popular application. I can click on Download. And in a couple of seconds, we get the option to install it. I can click on Install. And in less than five seconds, we've now downloaded this application and installed it onto my Amazon device. I can now click on Done. If I now press the Home key, just to show you that all the applications that you install through this custom application store, if you go back to your app library, the last application that you install will always be the last one in the list here, as we can see. If we go back to the custom application store, let's say I want to install something from uh, this one here. Let's click on that. Let's say I want to go for this first one here, which is a very, very large custom application store. I can click on download. That'll automatically begin the download. And we can see in a couple of seconds, I can now click on install. And that's how easy it is to install applications, sideload them onto your Amazon device or Android TV. Takes a couple of seconds, just go through the list, go through those different categories, find the applications that you're interested in. And in a few moments, you'll be able to access the content that you're looking for. The only thing to mention that if you are going to be using certain applications to access certain content, I would recommend using a VPN just to ensure that nobody can monitor what you're doing. Your ISP can't track you. You can change your IP address and really just access content from all over the world. Right now, there's a very special promotion for the VPN that I personally recommend two forty nine a month. So at that price point to get total protection for unlimited devices, maximum speed, no logging covers your Fire Sticks, your Windows PCs, your laptops, your Android TVs, all devices covered with that single license. This really is a very special price and something that I do think you guys, if you are in the market for a new VPN or if you're not happy with your current VPN, you should definitely check this out. Using my link does help support my channel. So if you do want to support me and my work, this really is the best way to do it. So really appreciate your support. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.